Hello everyone. I hope you all are having a great time. This is Lokesh and welcome to my channel Headhorn. Friends, today we are going to learn about a very interesting topic. The topic is to spin a Mongo database in a cloud environment. And the best part is that it is totally free. So, without wasting time, let's jump into the topic and see how we can spin a Mongo database in cloud for free. So friends, open a browser and type in mongodb.com slash cloud. Once you type in, you will be presented with this page. Here, you will see the option to try it for free. Just click on this green button and wait. Now, fill in your first name, last name, company details, email and password and your account will be created. I'll be doing it for you step by step. So please focus on this. Okay, so I will enter in my name. My company will be personal and I've entered my email address. I will select a password of my choice. And lastly, I will have to agree to terms and condition. I will just click on this checkbox and I will click on create your Atlas account. Perfect. So once you are successfully able to sign up, you will have to open your email that you provided and a verification email has been sent on that email address so let me quickly go to that email address and see if i have received a verification email or not i will open gmail.com okay friends so this is how you will receive a, a verification email into your inbox and this will be from mongodb cloud and you just need to click in here and you have to next click on this verify email button so the moment you will click on verify email button, you will be taken to this page and it will say that email successfully verified. So now I can click on continue here and this will take me into my account. Perfect. And this is a very sweet welcome screen. The page is now uh, loaded. Uh, it is asking me for my goal today. What type of application I'm building? What is your preferred language? You can select whatever you want. Uh, I will just go ahead with learning MongoDB. Uh, I'll select other here for what am I building here and what is your preferred language? I can select Python. So it is mandatory to answer all the question. I will just type here uh, that I am using it for learning purpose and I will click on finish. Okay, the moment you click on finish, uh, you will be brought to this page and uh, uh, you know here you will see the option uh, to deploy a cloud database so there are three options uh, first one is serverless the second one is dedicated and the third one is shared so because we are uh, using this uh, database just for learning purpose so we'll go ahead with this option which is the third option so i will just click on create and then i have following option i can uh, you know, spin my database either in AWS or in Google Cloud or, or in Azure, whatever you want. So let me go ahead with AWS. Uh, this is by default selected, not a problem. I am currently located in Asia. So Mumbai AP South is the AWS server where my uh, database will be spinned or database will be created. Okay, so all good. Uh, you don't need to worry about uh, these cluster tier additional setting and cluster name uh, if required we'll come back here again and we'll you know fine tune it but right now i just want to go ahead and click on create cluster so once i click on create cluster uh, you know it will verify that uh, i am an actual human being and not a robot so now my verification is complete and i am on this uh, page that asks for security quick start the first question is how would you like to authenticate your connection and I would go for with username and password because I don't have a certificate right now. So my username will be let's say Hedgehog and uh, my password is also Hedgehog. So I will just go ahead and create a user. Okay. So success. Please keep your credentials to connect to your cluster. Okay. Next is where would you like to connect from? I would like to connect from my local environment, enable access for any network that you want. 
Okay, so basically I'll be accessing it from my uh, laptop. So I will just ask the system to add my current IP address and then I will click on finish and close. Uh, my deployment is successful and I want to go to my database. And as you can see, we are deploying your changes. And right now uh, the process is configuring MongoDB. So uh, we will have to give it some time. So you can see that it is still working. So once it is configured and up, we will come back here and we will try to connect with it. Okay friends, so now as I can see that my database has been created. On the left hand side under deployment, you see the database and here you will see that it is called cluster zero and here you can edit the configuration. So, uh, as I mentioned previously, this will be a shared because this one is free of cost. And if you want to go for dedicated, you can just change it and you can, you know, start paying and enjoy the dedicated one. But right now I don't want to go on a dedicated, uh, resource. So I will stick here. Okay. The interesting part is here. You see the browse collection button. Once you click on this browse collection button, uh, you will be brought to this screen and you know uh, you have two options either load a sample data set or you can upload your own data right now i will go ahead with a sample data set so i will just click on load a sample data set and it is uh, worth 350 mb of size uh, so i will just simply go ahead and load this sample data set and friends please uh, be patient because it is going to take some time to load the sample data set as I mentioned, it is worth 350 MB and uh, it is going to take some time. So I will return back to video once my uh, data set sample has been loaded into my database. Okay friends, so I am back and now my sample collection data has been uploaded. So from this screen, I can click on browse collections and it will take a moment to retrieve the list. And here are my sample collection data. If you click one of these data sets, uh, I have uh, selected uh, sales, for example, and you can see that there are 5,000 documents. Pretty much good uh, number of records uh, for learning and practice purpose. Very good. So we will click here back into database and we are here again. So the next step is uh, how to connect to this database on the top left you see here uh, against your cluster you see the connect button if you click on this connect button you will get a list of uh, you know methods by which you can connect to your database so as you can see you can connect with mongodb shell you can connect your application you can connect using mongodb compass and you can connect using vs code Right now, because uh, we have spinned this database for uh, learning purpose, I will try to connect using MongoDB shell. So once you click on this uh, box, connect with the MongoDB shell, you will get uh, something like this. So the first option is I do not have MongoDB shell installed. And the second option is I have the MongoDB shell installed. So depending on whether you have already installed a MongoDB shell in your local machine, in your laptop, you have to decide which one you are going to choose. If you have not installed it, you can select your operating system from here and you can just download uh, the Mongo uh, application and you can install it. Because I have already installed it, so I can straightforward go to step number three. I can copy this connection string. The laptop that I'm using currently is a Windows laptop and I have installed Mongosh in my laptop. So the next step is that I will come to start menu and I will open a command prompt. Uh, let me zoom it a bit so that it is easily visible to you guys. And now I will paste the connection string that I copied. I will hit enter. It should ask for a password. Yes, this is asking for a password. I will uh, type in the password. In my case, the password is same as username. So I will type add honk and I will hit enter and as you can see it is now connected now I will execute a very simple command uh, to show databases and it should uh, show me all the databases 
uh, that we uploaded in the previous step. Here you go. You can see that all these sample database are there, sample Airbnb, sample analytics and so on. So that was a pretty simple steps how uh, you can spin a free MongoDB database in cloud for learning purpose. In the next videos, we will talk about writing a useful MongoDB queries uh, that can be very helpful in some of the cases. So for now, we will end our video here. I hope that you like this video and if you think that uh, this video is knowledgeable and it is, uh, you know, doing a value addition, then please consider subscribing to my channel. I keep on posting learning videos on my channel. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day ahead.